I work at the Juli Supercomputing Center in Germany, where I'm responsible for a division that researches into next generation architectures for supercomputing. Jupiter itself will be the first exascale system in Europe. It's so important because really the niche infrastructure for all the scientists and users that are across Europe. Any scientific domains that require compute time and require very large scale computing to management, they will have here a system that allows them to simulate and to reproduce things that were not possible in smaller systems. So it's a kind of a, for me it's a scientific instrument that enables new scientific research not possible before. This computer serves the purpose to simulate the complex things. Think about weather, weather prediction. This is a very simple thing for, for you to understand, but to simulate to have a feeling of what is going to happen, to have a prediction, it needs a lot of computing power. And this computer can solve this, but can be used also for research, for medical research. The Digital Europe program is very important because it does not only co-fund half of the system, so it wouldn't be possible for us to deploy such a large machine without this part of the funding. You need to pull resources for creating such a huge infrastructure. Without a Digital Europe program, we can't have extra scale computing because these computers, these centers need a lot of funding, need cooperation between multiple countries. Europe as a whole can win the battle of the computing, but alone each single country cannot make the difference. It's extremely important for Europe to have this kind of initiative and continue in coming years climate change, medical, all these kind of problems can be addressed through simulations, through applications running on a supercomputer. I hope that Jupiter will really make a major contribution to address those issues and that we get solutions to create a better society and, and, and a better life for everyone.